the multi factor uh, models for uh, measuring the uh, risk and return in specifically we will talk about uh, the arbitrage pricing theory right and uh, to towards the end we will even touch base upon uh, another interesting uh, model pharma and french model for deciding the expected return now just to get uh, quickly uh, started out with a multi factor models now what is the difference overall the intention is just decomposing the volatility even the total risk that is present in a that is present in the returns of a particular security earlier also we we were interpreting that the total volatility of a security can be split into market specific and company specific or idiosyncratic right so any volatility i can very well decompose it into this whether i use a single factor model or a multi factor model my intention is decomposing the overall volatility into this and using this uh, understanding try to compute the expected return on a particular security and anything to do with the market has probably a macroeconomic uh, kind of uh, impact any variable which is having macroeconomic uh, impact contributing to the overall volatility of the economy itself whereas company specific yes now in general when we had used a single factor model we simply said that the return on something is some alpha plus beta times the return on the market this is what we have used earlier the alpha of that particular security the beta of that particular security and rm being the market return which is actually a kind of a proxy which we have used for the entire market as a whole and we said when we said market we were more or less referring to some kind of a broad index which is uh, thought of as a representation of the entire market but what could very well happen is this market itself could compose could be composed of various elements it could be something to do with the gdp it has a factor that something to do with the inflation it has uh, factors that are something to do with the interest rates and many more macroeconomic factors and when we are using this rm in a single sense we are expecting that the market is reacting more or less uh, uh, all the securities in this particular market or the index more or less reacting to each of these things in an average manner itself in the same level what has been uh, typically the average response to each one of them but in reality what could very well happen is some companies could be more and more uh, positively reacting to the gdp some of them could be negatively reacting for some companies an increase in the interest rate is going to benefit them and for some of them the increase in the interest rates is going to be a negative factor for them similarly for some companies let's say when we are using the exchange rates it's a very huge factor for them whereas for some companies uh, which are more into the domestic market the exchange rates uh, volatility may not impact them at all so this is what we are trying to address using the various multi factor models don't rely on just one single market proxy which is really a, a helping us in determining the market return uh, return on the security based on the market return where market in turn is composed of many factors and each factor has a different sensitivity i mean every company has a different sensitivity levels to each of the factors which mean 
the overall when i am taking just a market as one single component which represents all these things on an average we are actually ignoring the specifics right that is where the single factor model typically got some level of criticism but the overall concept is still remaining the same whatever the return on the security i try to look at one the return because of the macroeconomic factors right uh, so here uh, whatever the return that are coming out with the macroeconomic factors and the idiosyncratic factors that still remains the same but what we are typically concerned of is how do i break this so if at all i assume that on an average the company is having a return of the expected return when when the gdp was some expected level because when we have used the market rm there is this market might have taken the average levels of gdp the average levels of inflation average levels of interest rate so based on whatever was the anticipated levels or the expected levels of each of these things that is already being factored as a part of the expected return but what we are saying is i could frame a return framework which could use apart from this expected return the the excess or the 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 premium which is more and more associated uh, to let's say the gdp changes unanticipated change in the gdp the beta of inflation whereas the risk premium associated with the inflation beta of interest rates risk premium associated with unanticipated changes in the interest rate and this could be either in the positive direction or in the negative direction 